everyone rock diy what i have here is an ignition switch for a mower and this is a pretty common switch and you can see here it's got stop lights and then you got run and then you got start so if you turn the key to here it's going to return to here because it's spring loaded and this is a seven pin or seven terminal switch and what i'm going to show is how to disassemble it to troubleshoot it or at least verify what may be wrong with it and i'll show one of the common things that happens is there's a little piece in there that breaks loose and moves around and then you end up with a blown fuse you can take this apart look at it see if that's what's causing it in most cases this little piece right here is what commonly comes out it's supposed to be vulcanized into the plastic and it's got these little plastic tabs that keep it in place but after running so long or if it was poorly put in there this piece will come out and then what happens is it moves around on the terminal so it'll move around on these and be in the wrong place and that's what's going to cause the fuse to blow so if that's i hate to say it but if that piece is moving around you can try to put it back in there it's going to be difficult to get it to stay that'll be a sign to the just get rid of it because you're going to end up having to buy a new one uh, but if that's not the case what you can do is just clean it up really good put some new grease on it clean up all of the terminals and then also on the inside on the inside here there's a spring if you go to turn your key and your key's not uh, returning from the start to run position then it's normally this spring in here and this spring has to sit in there exactly where it's at and it must be put back in that place if you do take it out there is that so now i'm going to show how to disassemble this and put it back together and and what's really important is you don't want to start by having the key in one of these other positions you need it to be right in the stop position and then remove the key the key was pulled out on the stop position and then along the sides here you'll see there's these tabs And typically, if you release two on the same side, this whole piece with the terminals on it will come out. And a word of caution, if it happens to be cold, when you take this apart, you may want to warm this up. Because if it's cold, it's probably going to break really easily. Be aware of that. On the first one, you want to get it so the tab is up. And then you got to get it to stay there. Uh, because as soon as you start messing with the next one, that one's going to want to go back in. So that's what I did. I kept this one over here and then pulled that one up and then this is coming up. You'll see here, this is the most important thing of disassembling this is get yourself some paint pens, give it a little time to dry when you put it on here. Otherwise you're going to take it right off, but use a paint pen. So you're going to start by marking this You notice that this up here is small. This down here is big. And so this would be at the very top. That's the orientation. One thing you definitely got to be careful with when you pull this off is this piece may want to fly off. And you definitely don't want that because you need to see where everything is. So pull it off slowly. And you can see where everything is. And so those are the contact points for the terminals these will line up as you turn the key uh, to the proper position i think i said it but i had already marked this just to make it easier but you can see right here that i marked it again and it's basically the same place first thing you're going to look for is that piece if that piece is in there sometimes it'll be like this is greased up and it'll be stuck here or it'll be stuck in a different spot and if that piece is moved and sitting in a different spot that's definitely what's causing your fuse to blow your mower won't turn over and you check your fuses and it's blown and you put a new fuse in and then you try it again and it does it again that's what it is it's this piece right here that piece right there is very common for coming off i'm going to remove this next piece here you got to be really careful pulling this piece out because right below it you can see there's three holes right here. There's one, two, three small springs and one larger spring. And you can see again, I've got it marked here and I put two lines 
down in there and one over here. It slightly turned on, but marked, marked. So when I put that back in, it's going to go right where those marks are. Sometimes this spring right here will be tight in there. Sometimes it will not be. And again, you definitely want to mark this before you move it. You might think that you can just put it back in there and it's going to be where it needs to be. Okay, and then there's that spring. And that spring needs to be in there right where it's at. There's two hook parts. There's one right there and there's one right there. If those are in the wrong place, then this ignition will not work properly. So that's how you take it apart. Go ahead and put this back in. All right, so that's lined up. And then now these right here need to be lined up with those springs and you need that red mark to be where you put your original mark. You do have to be careful with this part because sometimes it seems like it's where it's supposed to be, but it may not be. All right. So that is now where it's supposed to be. Don't be surprised if this spring, the bigger spring, holds that up high. And right here, you gotta make sure that red tab on there is facing up. And then just rotate it around so it locks back in place. That's all back together and that's what it should look like. And then I verify. Stop, lights, run, start, spring loaded, and returns to run. Things you want to look for are grease for one. If there's no grease, you end up having to put some grease on it. You do want to look to see if there's a lot of dirt. If there's a lot of dirt, then you really want to clean it really good. These grooves right here, there's one here and then there's one over there. Goes like this. Those may have dirt in them. So you want to clean those out. Also, the contact points on here, you want to make sure this isn't all tarnished up. In this case, this one's pretty old, so it's pretty tarnished. So you, you can clean that up. And I mentioned this previously, that this is typically the culprit of a bad ignition switch. You can see on this one, the little, I'll just say it's a horseshoe, but the horseshoe on this one, it was reassembled put back together, started one time, went to start it again, and then it was opened, and this horseshoe piece was actually over here in basically grounding out the ignition and causing the fuse to blow. Close enough on this one, you can see where the plastic is vulcanized or locking the horseshoe piece in. I may have already said it, but this little spring right here, there are three of them. When you do this, if you disassemble it, you want to make sure you don't lose those little springs. And here's another thing to look at. Make sure there's not a lot of dirt, grime in here, clean it up, put some new grease on it. Technically, you don't need to really put any grease on this, but you do need to put grease on this part. So if you put grease on here, grease will get on here, but typically this is where you really want to make sure you got grease. And then also look at these terminals. For corrosion, you may have bad contact, but also look at the female portion of the wire loom that comes to this and uh, get some cleaner to clean those contacts out and then use the cleaner on here. And you could also, if you have a wire brush, you could take a wire brush and brush it up some and then clean it off. Down inside here on the big spring, you do want to make sure there's grease in here. This is an old one. I don't think it's this one, but there's these little plastic tabs that stick up. There's one there, one there, and then there's kind of one on that end. But if any of those are broke off, you'll know if they're broke off because they'll probably be sitting in there. But if those are broke off, then this ignition switch needs to be replaced because it's not going to function properly. As far as the grease to use, there's this one is a white lithium grease. This grease right here is really good for 
down inside there. And then as far as up on this part or on here, you want to use dielectric grease. Also, you can use dielectric grease on these terminals as well as on the plug side, the, the female side of the connector that goes on here.